you've, you've united the right before and now you're about to try and do it again. Is it daunting? And if you don't succeed, you know, do you come back? <laughs> well, no, I'm totally focused. I, look, I, I'm actually, I've just last night signed my resignation letter to Speaker Regan, uh, effective the end of this week. Um, and there's, for me, no going back. And, and by the way, on that point, I want to stress, I, as far as I understand, every single legislator, MP, MPP, MLA, city councilor, who's run for a party leadership at any level, has kept their seat and their salary until that leadership election was over. Either they got elected or they didn't. Uh, they always had their elected position to fall back right. on. I, as far as I can tell, according to the Library of Parliament, I will be the first, the only elected legislator in Canadian history to resign his or her seat at the beginning of a leadership process. For me, there is no going back. I'm doing that partly to signal to my fellow Albertans that I am completely dedicated to this yeah. project. Yeah. For me, it is essential. You cannot have a strong Alberta, excuse me, a strong Canada if you have a weak Alberta. You can't have a strong national economy if it's one of its key engines of growth is, is broken down. And you can't have a strong national conservative movement if you have a weak one in Alberta. So for me, this is one of the most important projects. This is why it's attracted my attention. And because I have had experience, positive experience, in working on a project to bring together conservatives in a much more complicated merger at the national level, I think there's something I can add, some wisdom and experience yeah. To the provincial piece. The one thing you're going to miss. 